In this video, we're going to take standard titles and marry them with line animations. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is a short and sweet tutorial where we're going to talk about how to animate our titles with lines. So we're going to do very specific, you know, masking type animations and we're going to be able to create some very simple but stylized titles with line animation. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's talk about these techniques. So here we are inside of After Effects and we have our first title and line animation. We're going to create a total of four of these in this video. But we already have one text title in here and you see I added contrast between each of the words here. I'm using the typeface Gotham so the first word is Gotham Light and the second word is Gotham Bolt. I highly suggest checking out this typeface especially if you're getting started with wanting to create good typography. But once you have your first title block in here and you have everything you know, contrast it out if you want to go with that approach. I'm going to come here and grab the pen tool here at the top and make sure no layer is selected and make sure you click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. And simply we're going to come here, zoom in and we're going to click a point here, hold down shift and click another point to draw a straight line. And this will give us a easy rectangle and it's very easy to work with something like this. And it's up to you how thin you want this to be. So come here back up the top and we can change the stroke width to be a little bit thicker. And this is just going to draw more attention to the left alignment of our title. And of course we want this to be like at least symmetrical. So if we want to make any close changes, we can come back here, grab the pen tool at the top and just click grab one of the vertices, hold down shift and you can drag this up. And now we have some good symmetry here. And if you want, we can change the color. All right. And then we'll open up this layer, go to add and we'll add trim paths. And this is why you want to use the pen tool to create your line instead of let's say the rectangle tool because the trim paths works with strokes. So what we'll do here is come here to begin our timeline and bring the end percent down to 0%. We add a keyframe for it, we'll move forward maybe by a second and we can set this up to 100%. So now we just have this line animating like this, fantastic. And then we'll select both our keyframes, make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And nice. Now we can animate our title. So, so now we have to animate our title layer and we come here to our layer here, open it up, go to animate, click the little triangle button right there and let's add a position. And with the X position here, we can just move this over to the other side of our rectangle like this. Then we'll open up the range selector one and we'll go to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for our start. We'll move forward you know, and be by two seconds or so and set the start up to 100% and it'll animate in by letter, but I don't want to do by letter. I want to do by word. So we can come here into our, then we can come here into our advanced tab and set the based on from characters to words. So now this will move over by the words and that's fine. We can make both these keyframes easy ease by hitting F9. Now, of course, we do not want to be able to see our title before the line comes on. We want to see the title being revealed by the line. So what we'll do here to fix this is we can just grab the rectangle tool and we'll come here and just create a mask to cover up our title like so. So, so we can select the back end of this and just move it over. Awesome. So now we have our title being revealed on by the line and it's completely covered up and it works out fantastic. So of course, for our first technique, make sure to turn on motion blur and then you're ready to go. And before we move on to our second technique, I want to give a shout out to one of the best motion graphics pack out there for titles and just standard motion graphics. And this pack is called Toka, which has over 1300 elements and it ranges from background animations to titles with the obviously lines in them uh, to lower thirds, gradients, bigger titles, text animations, infographics, devices, and logo reveals. And there's just so much more in this pack that enable you to get your motion graphic work done quickly and at a very high quality. And simply how this pack works is that it has its own extension inside of After Effects so I can preview one of the 1000 plus animation templates in here and when I find something that I like I can just click on apply. So now I have this animation in here with our in and out points that we can easily adjust and what's great about it is that everything is and what's great about what's great about this is that everything is organized and very easy to change colors and update titles and move forward with whatever you're looking to do. So if you want to check out this pack and learn more about it, I will drop a link in the video description where you can take a look at all 1000 plus elements and see how they can work for you. All right, so in this next technique, we're going to talk about creating a very symmetrical title with lines. So 
we'll go ahead and delete our shapes that we're going to do here and all we have in here is our two separate titles as separate text layers and we're doing that contrast again and one thing we're doing this technique is create complete symmetry 100% to perfection so as you can see I have our two titles touching right each other on the left alignment and they're both separate because we can animate them separately and this is a good way to create some good symmetry so what I'm going to do here is utilize this open space and kind of create like a border, but a custom border to fit our word. So we're going to create a stroke right here and underneath, and we want this to be to perfection. So we'll grab the pen tool, kind of click point right here, and then we'll hold down shift and go right across and add our second point. Then we have this, and I'm going to make the stroke width just a little bit smaller. Awesome. So what I want this to do is line up perfectly with the N and be perfect here on the Y. So what I could do here just to make this easier, go to view, and I'm going to set this to show grid. So now we kind of have just a little bit more of a reference here and simply I grab our shape layers, hit the arrows and move this over and you know, try to match it up as best we can. And then of course we'll want to raise this up. So that looks like that matches fine and I'll just turn off the grid real quick. Okay, so that's cool. And then before we create the next line, let's go ahead and animate this again, say with the trim paths. We'll bring the end down to 0%, add that keyframe, move forward, set to 100%. And of course, make them easy ease by hitting F9. Great. And then before we duplicate this, let's go ahead and control double click the pan behind tool here. So that's in the center. And then we'll grab our shape layer, go to edit, duplicate, and then we'll just put this. And then we'll come down here to the line tab or go up to window align and we'll center this up right in the center of our composition by that uh, vertical alignment. And now all we have to do is grab our pen tool and just readjust the uh, you know points here. So now this is perfectly animating and maybe I want this to go in the other direction. So maybe I want this animation to go in the other direction, just add a little bit of, you know, contrast to this. So I'll just turn off the end keyframes, come here to the beginning for start and move that keyframe forward and then we'll set the start to 100%. So now this will be animating from the other direction. That's cool. Make those keyframes easy ease, of course. So I like the idea of all this animating at the same time. So to animate our text, we're going to have some separate animations here. So let's go to our first title, which we have up here. And we can come here to the beginning, go to animate, and we'll add just, you know, position again. And we'll set the position upward. So this will kind of fall down into place. And then go to the range selector. You know, we'll add a keyframe for start. Move forward in time. Maybe by two seconds. And then set this to 100%. And this will just fall right into place. And very cool. And then of course make them easy ease keyframes and as before we'll grab our rectangle tool and we'll just create a mask around just the top of our title so now everything will just fall into place nice and i want to do something a little bit unique with this one because we have two lines everything's kind of contained within this you know box if we will call it that so what we'll do here is open the second title go to animate and we'll add a rotation and one thing we need to do is go up to animate and enable per character 3d so one thing that we'll do here is we'll set the Y rotation to maybe about 90 degrees. Fantastic. Then we'll go to add and we'll go and add an opacity and set the opacity to 0%. Then we'll go to our range selector, add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward here, set the start up to 100%. And then let's make both of these keyframes easy ease, of course. And actually I'll bring these a little bit closer and we'll offset them. All right, cool. So now with motion blur enabled, here's our animated title. And with these lines, it looks very clean, very professional. Um, and there's a lot you can do with this to just add more, you know, rules to it. So maybe this line comes out after the first title comes on. Um, and it's really just up to you. Just a lot of cool techniques with just this one title animation. Okay, so this next one we're going to keep very simple. Instead of creating a line from scratch, I'm just going to position this line at the top here. And I want this to kind of just scale in from each other. So let me show you what I mean. So we'll take our shape layer here and make sure that the anchor point is in the center of our stroke. So just control double click the hand behind tool and make sure it's there. And that's very important. And then just hit S ring keyboard for scale. We'll add a keyframe for scale, move it forward, maybe by a second, break the chain for scale and set the Y scale percent to 0%. So now this will just animate on like that. That's cool. So then from here, I want my title to drop in. So this is one word, but I want this to be two words. So I'll just need to break this up real quick. All right, we got that two words. So obviously you can have two exact words. My logo is technically two words, but you know, this is how I'm gonna do it. So we'll grab our two title layers, hit P and keyboard for position, and we'll add a keyframe for position and we can put those wherever we want that animation to end. Then we'll go to the beginning and we'll just bring these up. So he's boom, it just drops down. And then you can just obviously offset the layers so they don't come in at the same time. 
And this is a really slow animation, so let's speed up. Nice. And of course, let's just offset these by a little bit. So this comes on, and then they drop in. Fantastic. This time, since we use the regular transform properties, we can't just like mask this out and, you know, it falls into place because the mask is being animated. So what we can do is grab both these layers, go to layer pre-compose, and we just call it titles. Then we can just grab the rectangle tool and create our mask. And I'll just move this up straight underneath that line. And then we'll just set the mask to subtract. So now with the proper timing, we have our title just being revealed on by the line perfectly at a nice motion. So it takes a little bit of just time of, you know, timing out the keyframes and going back and forth to make sure this is timed up perfectly. But with this technique, you can create a very simple title animation with a line. So in our fourth technique, it's really just an idea because I'm going to do something different in this tutorial. I'm not actually going to create this and show how to do it because it's just a combination of all of our other techniques. And this could be a good challenge for you just to use what we just learned to create this on your own. It's all the same techniques. We obviously have the masking techniques, the positioning, and obviously the line animation here. So if you want to create something unique like this, there's obviously with these techniques, you can create unlimited you know, line title animations. So just get creative with it and create some awesome work. So those are a few ways we can animate titles just by using line animations. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and found some cool ideas from it. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.